LinkedIn. It plays a huge role in how I land clients and thus it's also a big part of what I teach in my program, Revenue Spark. Maintaining an active profile and focusing on improving your engagement can work wonders when it comes to boosting your visibility on the platform. And it can make it significantly easier to help you connect with people who you might want to work with. And one really simple way to improve your post engagement is to use hashtags in your post. So let's talk a little bit about how this feature works and how you can best utilize it. Hashtags on LinkedIn work very similarly to other platforms. So LinkedIn uses hashtags to sort of catalog and categorize the posts that are using that specific hashtag. Let's do a quick screen share. So we're on my LinkedIn page, or my uh, newsfeed rather, and we're gonna go through an example. I'm going to search freelance, oops, here we are, freelance writing and select the hashtag. And this takes me to the main page for that hashtag, all right? This number right here reflects how many people are following the hashtag. And if we scroll down, uh, LinkedIn will show us all of the posts on the platform where people have incorporated the hashtag freelance writing. And it's really good to check these out because it'll give you an idea of what other people are already talking about and it might give you inspiration for posts that you can share in the future. And if it's a hashtag that's relevant to you and your business, then you're probably gonna wanna follow it. You'll see the follow button up here. Um, if you're not following it, it'll say follow and you just click it. If you ever want to see all of the hashtags that you're currently following, you can scroll down here to where it says followed hashtags, click on that and it'll show you um, everything you're following. And also if there's anything that you wanna unfollow because it's no longer relevant to you or your business, you can just click here. Now let's talk a little more about how you can use hashtags to improve your own exposure and engagement. First of all, let's get this out of the way. Hashtags aren't just for vanity, okay? They're not like an accessory, they're a tool. So you wanna use them strategically. I know that on a platform like Instagram, which a lot of us use just for personal reasons, we might add on hashtags just to be silly or funny. For example, when I use the hashtag, my chihuahua could beat up your honor roll student, I'm not really expecting it to bring me any traffic. The hashtags you use on LinkedIn should be professional and they should be relevant to the post that they are used in. Remember, you're going to show up on the page for that hashtag. So it needs to make sense in terms of the content that you're sharing within that post. Let's dive a little more into how exactly you can find a good hashtag. I'm gonna show you my screen again. All right, now let's say I wanna share a post that contains tips for becoming an entrepreneur. It's not unreasonable to wanna to use the hashtag entrepreneurship in my post, but let's take a look at this a little more closely. If we search entrepreneurship right here, take a look at this number. Again, this is how many people are currently following this hashtag, and this is important. You might see this number and think, you know, the bigger the better. Uh, but that's not necessarily the case. The more popular a hashtag is, the more competitive it is, and the more content there is incorporating it. This means it's going to be harder to gain visibility. Now, does that mean you shouldn't use it? No, but it does mean that you'll probably want to use it along with another hashtag that is more specific with a smaller following. Um, you might notice that when we started searching this hashtag right here, um, LinkedIn shows us similar results. It's giving us related hashtags so that what we can do is go through these and look for one with a smaller audience. So let's try entrepreneur, which surprisingly is much smaller than entrepreneurship. See, not even 500,000. And honestly, we could even stand to go smaller than this. The smaller you go, the likelier it is that you'll be found on that hashtag's page. Now, obviously you don't wanna use a hashtag that has two followers because that means that no one's really interested in it. Another way to get hashtag ideas is right within the post itself um, that you know a similar dropdown will appear. Uh, here's an example. Let's say I start a post and we don't really care about the body of the post, but let's say I type and I put in the pound symbol and then I start putting blog. Okay, blogging, blogger, bloggers, community. So I could just insert it like that. I typically use three to five hashtags per post, and I'll make sure that I use a variety of small, medium, and large followings, just so you're kind of getting the best of all worlds. Do not pack in as many hashtags as LinkedIn will allow. It looks spammy and unprofessional, and it's going to be really bad for user experience, meaning the people who are reading your posts. 
Bear in mind that when LinkedIn tells you how many people are following a hashtag, that doesn't necessarily mean that that's how many people are going to see your content. So let's say that the hashtag you use has 100,000 followers. Does that mean that 100,000 followers are going to see that post? No. There are still a ton of other variables at play here. For example, when LinkedIn is looking at your post, it's asking, okay, is this post getting good engagement? It wants to determine if people care about your content. So if LinkedIn notices that your post is getting a lot of engagement, meaning likes, comments, and shares, it stops and it goes, oh, okay, people care about this. And it will show that post to more people and more of the type of people that you want to reach. This means that to help your hashtags perform better, it's in your best interest to help your posts get in as much engagement as possible. Honestly, this is something that you want to be doing anyway, but it's just one more thing that will help boost the power that your hashtags hold. There are a lot of ways to improve engagement. One surefire way is to tag people in the post itself or in a comment. Only tag people who it makes sense to tag. Do not spam a bunch of people. Instead, choose a few people who you think would be particularly interested in seeing that post, tag them in it, and invite them to join the conversation. One of my students in Revenue Spark, Johan, he's really good about this. So he'll create a post and he'll tag usually a few people within the first comment, and I'll always get the notification, and I always go to the post, and it's always something I'm interested in because he wouldn't tag me otherwise, and I'll respond. This boosts the engagement of that post, which offers a number of benefits, one of which being that his hashtags are going to be more powerful. Next, I wanna talk about branded hashtags. Branded hashtags are tags that are hyper-specific and directly reflect you or your company or a product or service that you sell. For example, if I mention my program in a post, Revenue Spark, I will use the hashtag Revenue Spark. It's not because I'm expecting it to bring me a ton of traffic, because at this point it won't. But remember what I said earlier, LinkedIn uses hashtags to categorize the content, all of the content that uses that hashtag. So if I'm continuously using the hashtag Revenue Spark when applicable, the hashtag Revenue Spark is going to get like its own little page on LinkedIn. And anytime anyone clicks that hashtag, they're going to go to its page and see all of my content. You can even use this to your advantage by telling your followers, your connections, hey, go check out this page to get tons of information about my course or whatever, your brand, your services, whatever the hashtag reflects. I've used branded hashtags for a number of things like my name, so Megan Grant, um, and also the other programs that I offer like The Seven Day Secret and How to Blog Like a Pro. When you're picking out a branded hashtag, the first thing you wanna do is make sure that it's not something that a ton of people are already using. If they're using it here and there, that's okay. But we wanna stay away from anything super popular because it kind of defeats the purpose. Remember, when people go to that hashtags page, ideally, they see only your content. Again, be sure that you're using it consistently, only when it's applicable, but you wanna really be building up the content for that hashtag. Hashtags are an amazing tool that people really don't utilize to their full potential. And if you spend just a few minutes looking into hashtags that are relevant to your business, you're going to see your post engagement go up. Don't just barf up whatever random hashtags you can think of though, look at their audiences, look at what kind of traffic, what kind of activity they're getting, see what kinds of followings they have. Always include a little bit of variety and make sure that they're relevant to the content within that post. I mentioned in the beginning of this video that I use LinkedIn almost on a daily basis to help me connect with new leads and land new clients. If you wanna learn more about that process, be sure to check out my mini course, The Seven Day Secret. It's built to be quickly consumed and easily digested and to help you start seeing results with your client acquisition in one week. I've included the link for this below. Yes, it is a paid mini course, it's $37. Thanks for sticking around. If you made it this far, please support my channel by giving this video a thumbs up. Tell YouTube that you like my content. If you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to my channel so that you never miss a new video and I'll see you guys next time.